Good day everyone, this is MB. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can get connected to a backup PLC. Um, I've already connected a backup PLC uh, 69020 to it. To uh, get connected to the PLC, you need to have the XAR installed on your computer. After you do the installation, you see this logo. So you can go to come to this edit routes and uh, in here you need to do the app if you know the ip address of your plc you can type it in here or you can do a broadcast search it's gonna go and find it for you okay so this is the plc that i've got connected to it it has a windows c embedded into it as well and then uh, that's the Twinket version i do add routes secure ADS I untick this one because I don't want a uh, secure ADS on them my username is administrator and password is one okay so this one when the cross is in here it means it got connected close so you see it got connected to the PLC that's good so now I can open the Twinket engineering because this one is got connected I go open from target it's gonna open the PLC program that it was connected so in here if you pay attention it says 4024.56 so this one is the version that the program for this PLC is written in okay and I have the version 4024.4 so whatever is this version you have to open the same version okay um and because what happens and um, when you do all the when you install them all then you will see a list in here and you can choose the right um, version for the plc and then for the for the twinket and then you can open if you open it with the wrong version um the twin safe will mic around also other stuff will, will may mic around as well so yeah make sure that you open it because i have the backup of this project i don't care so i open it this time okay then it's gonna ask you um um show me a folder that i save it in let's say six nine zero two zero one r it's gonna save the plc program into this folder select folder after you open um you download the program so in here you see this is the one it's arm v7 so you you need to take the backup of the projects save the project as a zip file this is the name of the project that i saved it in so i take the backup of that save later on if you want to open it you come here open from archive okay now i have the backup of that one so i don't care I can do whatever I want and uh, that's that's a good thing um, so in here if you op um, double click on systems you can come to these six settings do you want to press it it's yes so the username is administrator and password is one um, you can change the IP address, subnet mask, and everything. Um, if you click in this one, you can change these ones. Or you can uh, you can restore, reboot from here. There is another way to do that. If you have a browser, 
like Internet Explorer or Chrome. And ninety nine percent of the time it doesn't work on Internet Explorer and Chrome because they do a lot of updates on their on their uh, uh, browsers. So it's the best that you use uh, Firefox. And you write it HTTPS. The IP address of the DLC and then config administrator is the username and password is one. Sign in, it's the same. You can, um, you can go to the um, Windows. Um, that is installed on the machine and if if this remote display is on then you will be able to use this software it's called serhost cr host um, you can download this one from uh, back of website um, it's just an excel excel file that in a in a zip file so what i do i get connected in here you can uh, write the ip address of the plc it's going to get connected to it i opened these ones from the previous time so in here that's the windows that is installed on the on the plc Can come to the control panel if you want to change the IP you can do it in here it has a visual keyboard on it as well and uh, or if you wanna uh, this six configuration is in here as well the TC build version is in here as well and then you can uh, edit the uh, AMS net ID and uh, all the options that you have in here okay if that if this one is not on you you will not be able to use this one so you might be able to log in and then change it to off and uh, reboot it it's gonna work get connected to it again you can reboot it in here as well You can reset it and uh yeah everything is in there as well okay so without runtime you cannot get connected to it <clears throat> uh you can go to config mode get connected to this one so in here you can scan the boxes whatever is connected copy all so whatever I got connected to the PLC I'm gonna have it in here okay so these are the cards that they are connected to the the PLC that I have example this is an output card and uh, I can see the online status of it, of it as well if I go in the runtime okay so this is the way that you can get connected to the to the uh, back of fields um, one more way that you can see the the version of the 
between kids version you open this one you open um, between kids uh, project with a, a text file with a notepad in here you will be able to see the version that uh, the program was written in and make sure that you open it with a with the same version it's the next people they are going to get in trouble um, if you have any question just leave it in the comment for me thank you